world's most famous arena. It is, of course, Madison Square Garden. This is where the Thug Rose scene went down, DC. This is where it happened, J.A. Lost words, so I yelled the same thing over and over again. Pick Rose Namajunas, and you can hear me yell, Thug Rose, Thug Rose, Thug Rose. <laughs> Kind of feeling out process right now. Both guys trying to see exactly how they're going to approach this thing. Oh, upper gut counter. That'll leave a mark. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. You got to be kidding me. Edge of your seat action as expected thus far. Oh, much. man, John, they're trading early. The bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to work very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. A beautiful kick to the body. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Keep your hands up. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. And he's looking for that left hand. Just missed. Nice crack there. Lands the lead right punch. Final minute of round one. Oh, inside kick. Trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that one his right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has the. This could be it. Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. Same story, punch after punch to the head. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did everything right to secure that knockdown. Perfect setup with the hands, got the knockdown. Let's see if he can go find the shot that's going to finish the fight. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two? Definitely. Oh, that's control of the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful leather change, make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great spot. Oh man, some big shots too. Strong outside leg kick. Well, you gotta think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. 
so the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse, and you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Caught the kick. Under a minute now to go. Stunned, drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 17 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, the Cobra! Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO. And if the judges were looking at their phones, it's okay. We don't need the...